Hi everyone, it's MJ and welcome back to Hypothesis Testing. What I want to do in this video is talk about the type of errors that we get while doing this type of testing. Once we've gone through this, it should help us to understand the hypothesis testing process a little better. There are two types of errors. and I'm going to actually just write them out very quickly in the mathematical form. The first error is we, when we reject the hypothesis. So we reject the hypothesis, but the hypothesis is actually true. And this is equal to something called alpha, and it is known as the size of a test. So this is also, yeah, let's write this down. This is error number one. Error number two is the probability that we fail to reject the null hypothesis when, in fact, the null hypothesis is actually false. And this is known as beta or the power of the test. If we had to draw this on a diagram, we would see the following. Okay. Let's say this is our null hypothesis that the population parameter is 0 0.05. And what we know is we've got our little distribution and we have, let's say, our upper and lower bounds. Okay. And within this, we're going to reject whatever's inside and um, well, yeah, fail to reject everything that's inside and reject everything that is outside. Now, what we're going to see is this is a probability distribution. There is a chance that we get our random sample and we calculate our, our estimator and it lies there and that the 0 0.5 is actually true. The, you know, the, there is a chance that it could be very small, it's very small, but there is a chance that this is our value and this is true. But we will reject it and say, actually, this isn't the case because we got this extreme value. So it is a mistake, it is an error, and this is known as the, the, um, the alpha or the size of the test. But there's also a situation, and I think, I think this one's quite easy to understand, it's, it's understanding that extreme events do sometimes happen and we reject it. The second error is a little bit more interesting. The second error is when our value lies within the, the critical region, and so we're failing to reject uh, the null hypothesis, but the problem is that the null hypothesis is actually false. Now, how does that work? How does that work? Well, remember, there, there could be another answer. And I mean, the answer could be that the population parameter is, let's say, its true value is 0 0.75. And it's just that 0 0.75, we had, a again, an extreme event happening that it landed inside the critical region of our null test, but it's actually not the situation. So this here is known as our as the power. So this thing here is our probability of us having a type 2 error. And if we go back to the purple, I mean the pink, we see that this is the probability of us having a type 1 error. And this is where we get into a little bit of a dilemma because whenever we try to minimize, if we try and minimize uh, alpha, what we're going to end up doing is increasing or maximizing the beta. And again, as soon as we try to decrease beta, we are going to end up increasing alpha. So, or you can imagine, if we start making our confidence intervals smaller, yes, we will have uh, less of the, the power happening, but the pink will increase and vice versa. And this is one of the things that you just need to get your head around with hypothesis testing. It's not, and, and this is where stats and uncertainty and all these things creep in and people, people are getting uncomfortable with this. But the fact is that we could be doing a test and we could be wrong. We could be wrong. And that is what we just need to bear in mind that we can't say we accept H uh, or the null hypothesis. We can only say that we fail to reject 
the null hypothesis. And that's just to try to capture a little bit of the philosophical insight that we are dealing with uncertainty. So it's important to, to bear in mind uh, these tests. What we see is we will design uh, tests in such a way to minimize um, the power of a test. And how we do that, we normally set alpha equal to, to 0 0.5. We'll make that, that's normally the, the, the standard. Um, but we'll see this happening in, in examples and, and stuff as we go forward. And we'll deal with some exam questions around this as well. But I just wanted to give a very brief overview of the type of errors that we can come across in hypothesis testing. But if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask and I will definitely answer them. Thanks so much for watching. Cheers.